Jay Crowder was the perfect trade for the Bucks, and in this video, I am going to be telling you guys why. This was just such a crazy trade deadline, honestly might have been the craziest ever, and there is just so much to talk about. Now since we are over halfway through the NBA season, I'm going to be pumping out so much content for you guys, so I would really appreciate all of your support. It only takes 5 seconds to like and subscribe, plus you can always change your mind. I'm now on the road to 10k subscribers, and I know you all can help me get there very fast, and by the way, thank you all for getting me past 8k, it truly means the world, and we are just growing super fast right now. So out of all the madness that just happened in the last 24 hours, Crowder was definitely one of the quieter trades to go down, but this trade was a lot bigger than you would think. Crowder is now a guy who's gonna want to prove himself because he rejected a contract with the Suns, and he's also another big Lou guy that sort of has that PJ Tucker role, and he's also got a big body that can be disruptive on the defensive end. It's already tough enough for teams to have to deal with the length and bodies of Giannis, Lopez, and Portis, and when you add Crowder to the mix, even the deepest teams in the league are going to be worn out in a 7 game series, and then Giannis will be able to take over and do whatever he wants. I will say, Crowder has had his chemistry problems with a few teams he's played on throughout his career, but this Bucks team already has an identity, and they've got tons of leadership, so I don't think it will be much of a problem, and I think Crowder is going to show up hungry to play and win since he's been off the court for so long. In 2022, Crowder averaged over 9 points, over 5 rebounds, and just under 2 assists per night. Those are not bad stats at all, especially for someone who doesn't have an offensive role. Man, the Bucks are just loaded with talent and experience, and personally, they are my favorite to come out of the East, which I know is a hot take because the Celtics have been unbeatable as of late. One small trade I also gotta acknowledge in this video is George Hill, Jordan Nwora, and Serge Ibaka to the Pacers. This obviously won't have any effect on the Bucks for the rest of the season, but I was still surprised to see them make this move. I really do think this trade today by the Bucks is going to go down as one of the most underrated ones of the season, but let me know what you guys thought about this Jay Crowder trade, and also some of the other trades that happened recently in the comments below. That's going to be the end of this video, I know it was super short, I'm going to continue to pump out as much content as possible, so I would really appreciate it if you would join me for the ride. I'm on the road to 10k subscribers, and I believe y'all can help me get there. Also one more thing, make sure to comment below what you want to see next. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and until next time, I'll see you all later.